Hi, I'm Dr. Helen Pinsanti, and welcome to my YouTube channel, episode number four. Today, we're going to be talking about the strange woman. The strange woman is a very interesting chapter in the Proverbs. When I first read it, the first few years I was reading it, my mind went as a doctor. I thought it was like King Solomon or King David talking to his son and saying, be careful of strange women, you'll get a sexually transmitted disease. But after a few years, I realized that the strange woman wasn't a woman at all. It was an entity manifesting as temptation. So, for instance, the first thing it says she does is she flatters you. All right, so if you have a problem with food, she's going to flatter you inside of you and say, you could start your diet tomorrow. You know how to lose weight. Your hostess cooked that pie. Are you going to insult her and not eat it? Eat that pie. You could start dieting tomorrow. If you have an alcohol problem, just a little one. You're not really an alcoholic. Just freshen your drink. You'll be okay. If you have a drug problem, I don't know, you take it to take yourself out of your misery. Uh, sex problem. Even going and, and having an activity that, like playing video games, for goodness sakes. Those young kids are hooked to those video games for hours. And, well, what does she do after she flatters you? First she flatters you, and then it says she takes you around a corner. Well, you're supposed to be walking down the straight and narrow path with the Lord. If you've been taken around a corner, you can't see where the Lord wants you to be. And then your heart is over here fretting against the Lord saying, nothing's happening in my life. God isn't answering my prayers. Excuse me. Hello, what are you doing over here? Get back on the straight and narrow path. The next thing it says she has is a double-edged sword. And I'm like, come on, Lord, what kind of fight is that? We have a double-edged sword. She has a double-edged sword. It isn't fair. He said, Helen, I said the word of God is sharper than any double-edged sword. I went, oh, okay, we still have a chance. The next thing that she does is she says to, this temptation says to you, I have come to seek your face. Well, we're supposed to be seeking the face of the Lord. Now all of a sudden somebody's making us a God. I've come to seek you. You're the one who's special. You're the one I've come to seek. Then there's some scriptures about how she decks the bed with aloes and cinnamon and, and herbs and stuff like that. And I don't really have the revelation, so I'm not going to say anything about it, other than I felt like those were the things that they buried Jesus in. And I didn't know if she was, you know, trying, if there was something hidden meaning about the death and resurrection of Jesus. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Then you go down a little more in Proverbs and it says, or I thought it said, she wounds people and she takes them to hell. But after about five years of writing out that scripture, I realized that's not what it says. It's, it, she takes the wounded and then takes them to hell on earth. So a person has already been wounded somewhere in their childhood or their teenage years or their adulthood. They have wounds and she knows exactly how to tempt you and flatter you and to get to that one place where she could take you around a corner and blindside you from walking the straight and narrow path that God wants you to be on. So be careful of the strange woman, and remember, she's not a woman. She's temptation, masquerading in all different forms. I'm Dr. Helen Pinsett.